Happy Mardi Gras! It is Fat Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. This is it. Come with us on this Fat Tuesday Mardi Gras celebrations. I'm obviously all dressed up. It's gonna be a good time. Come on. If you're visiting New Orleans on Fat Tuesday or any parade day during the Mardi Gras window from January to March, roads will be completely shut down around the parade route. We decided to rent electric bikes with blue bikes. This made it really easy to get across town to the first parade without being stuck in traffic. Download the Blue Bikes app and get ready to ride. I'll put a link in the description below. Welcome to Mardi Gras! On Fat Tuesday, the first parade is the Zulu Crew and it starts early at 8 a.m. This crew was founded in the early 1900s and has a rich history in the New Orleans community. Zulu throws include beads, but also practical things that back in the day families might need, like ramen noodles and toys for the kids. It's all kinds of stuff, not just beads. Zulu parades are most famous for their elusive golden coconut. These are hand-painted coconuts that are sought after and collected. If you want to be lucky enough to get one, you better get out front and make a lot of noise. You'll know you got an authentic Zulu coconut by the Zulu stamp on the back. If you're gonna be coming during Mardi Gras and attending a parade, Keep in mind that some of these parades can last for several hours, so be sure you have a plan in place for food, drinks, and bathroom time. Mardi Gras parades are a family affair. Families from all over the city come out early, they set up tents, chairs, porta potties, and even bring their barbecue pits to cook for the group. We had such a good time at the Zulu Parade, and not to spoil the ending of this video, but I think it was our favorite parade of the day. These parades follow each other along roughly the same route, so we're headed down the street to pick a new place to stand and watch one of the oldest crews in New Orleans, the Rex Crew. Never, ever, ever buy beads when you come down to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Look at this. This isn't even all of them. Jeff has some of them. We've got a bag that has some of them. Never buy beads. You go to one parade and you're gonna come back with more beads than your neck and your shoulders can carry. These are weighing me down. I'm probably gonna have to take them off. Crew of Rex was founded in the late 1800s and is currently the oldest participating crew in Mardi Gras. Rex is Latin for king, so Rex currently reigns as the king of carnival. Something cool we found out on this trip, each crew has a big celebration following their parade. And if you're staying in town, you can catch these balls on the local PBS channel on television. You can also try to buy a ticket to the ball, but it may set you back about $5,000 or more. One fun thing about the Rex throws, they date them like a keepsake, and the pendant design matches the same theme of the float it was thrown from. 
Okay, we just finished the Rex Parade. We've got another parade coming after this one. We're gonna go get something to drink. If you're making a checklist of things to do when you come for Mardi Gras, try to catch a glimpse of the Mardi Gras Indians. This group dresses up and visits areas of the city, but they don't tell you their route, so you have to be lucky enough to stumble upon them. Truck parades immediately follow the Rex parades, and it opens up the fun and homemade decor. Each group creates their own float and buys to be named the best truck float of the year. This year, there were well over 100 flatbed floats with good music and fun throws like this board game. After the Rex Parade are the Truck Parades. Now do not miss these parades. They are so much fun. They give out very unique throws. We're having a great time. This is my first year getting to see what Mardi Gras is really all about. I always thought it was something for adults only, but I found the celebrations to be very family friendly and welcoming. In true New Orleans tradition, everyone we met took us in like friends we had always known. Tourists and locals melted into one big family, celebrating life and friendships. I would love to come back again one year and bring my entire family. We would set up a tent and grill out with 250,000 of our newest best friends. Happy Mardi Gras! We had to find something to do with all these beads. We decided to take them with us on our way to dinner and hand them out to share Mardi Gras fun with everyone. We watched the Rex Parade, we watched the truck parade, then we went back to the hotel and kind of freshened up. And now we are at Mother's because we are going to try to eat some food for my New Orleans food video. If you haven't watched that, it should already be posted. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Go watch that. New Orleans has some of the best food and drinks that you've ever had in your life. You've got to try it. So we're gonna try Mother's because I've heard they've had good jambalaya, gumbo, etouffee, stuff like that. So we're gonna see what we can eat here. And then we're gonna finish passing out our beads that we've accumulated from all these parades. If you want to get in on some of the Mardi Gras fun, but you can't be in New Orleans around Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras parades are gonna be running various nights from January until Fat Tuesday. I'll leave a link below with the website so you can look up parade dates and routes. The closer you get to Fat Tuesday, parades will be more frequent, and there's a good chance you may accidentally stumble onto one or two like we did. If you're going out to Bourbon Street on Fat Tuesday evening, know that it's going to be probably the biggest crowds you've ever seen, and also know that Bourbon Street shuts down at midnight. This is one of the only days during the year that they shut Bourbon Street down. Police cops on horses will come and shoo you home at the stroke of midnight because midnight starts Lent. A crazy today. But that pretty much sums up our Fat Tuesday. We had so much fun watching the parades, more fun than we thought we would. Um, today we loved the Zulu parade. We ate some good food made some new friends, which is what it's all about. Let me know what your favorite part about today's video was. Uh, make sure you check out my New Orleans things to do video and my food video. Otherwise, I hope you have safe and beautiful travels. Bye.